Uh, so this is me versus Pelka. A matchup from no these cameras are hella HD. What the? That was a really good jab from him. He starts piecing me up with down airs at some point. He's like air to airing me and shit. I'm like, okay, you want to approach me, little? <laughs> Should have back aired. So by, by that logic, See, I don't mind trading damage with Snake because like, I just why would I? I also know that like, like right here, I'm like, oh okay, roll is covered. Normal getup is not like it's covered by grenades somewhat. So it's most likely I'll jump or drop back and jump or flip jump. Back air covered all of that. Shit, and I was like, wait, normal getup rules, and I'm out. Boosh! Oh, so cool. Oh, Great combo. She needed it. Yeah, back and forth like Mixed! In the Drop down, up air. I'm okay with that trade. I do not mind playing against Snake at these percents. That sucks that I dropped that combo. It's, as long as you don't die to Snake, that's what matters. Snake 2 being so weird on the jumps. I didn't expect it to combo. Ooh! Mix! Ooh! Aww. I should have I should have dropped under the platform and reacted good, to what he did. And so he's willing he to just pre ammunition. Yeah, he's just Stop. ready. Should have grabbed. Free grab. Like, okay, what do I do? I'm so bad. God damn it. I hate watching myself play. Like, Even though this is 3-0. But he should be crouching again. He's not crouching anymore. Like, he tried to do it there, but that was not a good representation of using crouch. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about, where I wish Mute would do this, yeah, too. It's like in the say, middle of, like, the snake starting to set up and try to get the ball rolling with projectiles. Just, like, no, stop. Like, cut that out. <laughs> Definitely a read on the forward smash, not a miss input. I had so many forward smashes on the platform. So tilting. Yeah, this is when he starts downering the oh, out of me, I think. It's a really good uh, tool in the matchup. If just like Zerusu's next to you, flipping and down here. Why not? I should have done one up jab. Yeah, and bad grenade recognition on my part. But he's like trying to read me, doing shit too early. I also should have shot soft tossed that grenade instead of hard tossed, so it actually landed on him. Yeah, up till up till does have like. <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> Get these up smashes out of here, you bum! Weave around the first one, down B through all the hurt bo the hitboxes. Die! That air dodge that he just did, I put that in the bank for the rest of this set. I saw that air dodge and I was like, he's gonna die for that later. 100%. That was my fault. I boost kicked the wrong way. It's not a Zero Suit Sucks moment, it's a Mars Sucks moment. Tried to read the ball in with the back air there. Mars is. I don't know what that what? was. That was really yeah. weird. Whatever like that was. Very much hurt Snake's wow. ability Punished. to come back. I, yeah, exactly. I thought he was going to go to the right there if, if because of the way he was thought, positioned. Like the C4 like looked like it was like able to, walk out DSS to his left. Snake, so I'll play. So, Combos. Oh, this is where I almost hit the hottest clip. I think it's this one. I down smashed the wrong way. Like a scrub. Like forward air. Uh, uh, uh. Don't matter if I blow up. Okay, it's definitely not this one. Ignore everything I just said. It was not a hot clip. Imagine grabbing when you're at kill percent as zero suit. Wow, so bad. You haven't seen him swing with a lot of back. Die. Ooh, dude, look at me go. All right, this is the one. This is the one. You know, you can backlob grenade and and kind of. You got mixed. Get comboed. What are you doing? Why are you rolling in? Up air, and I down smash the wrong way and die for it. I was gonna do a falling up air, falling up air footstool, and then like read a tech to the ledge and air foot kick, and I would have went on Twitter. With his movement, he was very tricky with his wave bounces, with his B reverses, but now instead of the There's that, there's that air dodge. It ain't safe. It's not safe. You can't just do that. Okay. I like how it says top 16. It's just definitely grand finals. This matchup is pee pee poo poo, by the way. Very bad for Zero Suit. Yeah, Mixed! Oh, but the landing hitbox of Mithra really I get hit by this hitbox so many times. I played I played against E just twice in this bracket. This happened to me so many times. I intentionally baited this and then it was like, oh whoops, there's one more. Ooh, I am moving! Doing nothing. <laughs> what I moved so much, dude. I accomplished so little with all that baiting. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Lose. <laughs> <laughs> Saw the vision. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So maybe we all need to
I, I, I didn't see the vision apparently because I didn't get what I wanted. I wasn't even sure what I wanted. Huge combo opportunity. That's right. 27. Frame trap. You lose! Why didn't it spike? Jump! Fool! Yeah, DM used to play Pika. That was his main. And then DLC Pack 2 came out and he picked up Steve and Aegis. So. He likes winning, can you tell? See, I I, I I do this a lot and I wish more players would do this. Cause like, I feel like actually Leo can like, and this is obviously gonna sound pretentious, but I'm serious. But like a lot of players could learn from this interaction right here. I'll explain it. So I hit him with the back air. I read the buffered spot dodge because people like doing that. Sh and right here, I, I dash up anticipating that I might be able to get a combo out of this air, but I can't. There's nothing I can do that goes, like I can't run up and jab, it's not true. Running up and grab is a mix up, he can spot dodge and I will die for that because I'm at 117. So what I do is I just dash back and I sit there and I wait and see what he does. I If I grabbed, this jump probably also would have killed me. I would have got like down air, up air, or up beat or something. But like there's so many situations where like players don't realize that they don't have a true combo and you're walking into like a mix up where your opponent has to decide what to do and you can just do nothing and just react to whatever dumb shit they do. They're the ones that are forced to make a decision. You don't have to do anything. So I just wait. I maintain stage control and I end up just getting another opening by waiting. And I get a lot of value out of this stock simply because I chose not to overextend and die there. You like flashback to the Leo versus Spargo set. There are so many whiff dash attacks that just he, he either died or whatever because Looks like you test slash read opponents a lot. It's one of your biggest strengths Sure, you can't see it, but DM smiled a little bit after I did this watch this I hit him with the jump 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 parry DM kind of cracked the smile a little bit and after this set he was like dude you made me feel so stupid when you just spammed jump and then parried me <laughs> i was like yeah. gotcha <laughs> i don't know what else to say and the shield hey yo why are you so scared of me yeah like a fully charged up smash on your shield and the shield i get away with that way too often Double kick, stay in the corner. We both guessed wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a scrub. Why did I even flip kick? Even I thought I was gonna down B from ledge there. And this is, a, actually, you know, I can learn from my own advice. Cause like, as a Zerusu player, I should recognize that this coming down tilt right here, doesn't combo. Maybe into up air, but I want back air. So I could have just like done down smash or something. But yeah, dash back read. Why are you running from me? Why are you running? I'm get near bared. He's like not doing the run up up tilts that he should be doing to anti air me. Double left tilt. See, I'm mixing. Look at that. I knew I couldn't follow up, so I waited. I did a little bit of dashing around. Stupid. Ooh! I can't believe he got out of this. So I thought about this situation a little bit more because I didn't know what to do here. After the fact, like after the tournament. So I did this. Because I don't think run up boost kick would kill here. So what I should have done, I should have jumped onto the platform and walked him off and made him prat fall. And then just drop down, done a down smash, and then a boost kick. It probably would have killed. But I thought the damage from grounding him with down B would uh, be oh, enough damage to boost kick here, which it definitely would have killed at 92. Yeah, Up air and boost kick, that is so diable. It's like such an unreliable thing to go for, but it is an option that you can go for. Oh, is this the last hit game where I hit him with like the slowest back air of all time? Definitely is. Is that it? Dude, I almost died at 68 to down tilt. That is insane. He tried to parry me so bad. He looked at me after this back air too. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Normally I don't do this, but just look at DM's player cam real quick. This dude is hold up. My man's is on the Wii balance board right now. Hold up. He is moving. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh okay, hold on. All right, let, let's actually deduce this one. This is hilarious, though. All right, so I, I, I get behind him. I do a really slow back air, right? This I would have normally done anyway, and I'm like, the only way he can probably kill me here with his up B, I don't think he'll do it because he's scared of losing. 
more than he like wants to win. And if he was facing to the left, I would not have done this because I could have gotten up smashed. I could probably low key still get up smashed if he's facing to the right. I'm more confident this way, but just just another really slow back air. I'm expecting him to do like random up smashes and stuff, and I wanted to read his roll there. Nice forward smash, almost got him. He tried that. My man wants a lead lead. I remembered that from our previous set. We went like super last hit. If he was up a stock like this, he would go for cheese like almost every time. I should have up smashed. He also should not have DI'd to that, or died to that. Oh, dude, it's so hard to edge guard Mithra with through a suit. Yeah, but hey, that's it. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Watch the walks, that's man. The, that's the downside, Watch the guys. Walks. That's the downside. I'm not panicking. Like, we know it's coming. Wow, wow. The spacing on that grab. Again, quick decision making. That's why he's a champ right there, right? That was the most reactable zero suit grab I've ever done. That shit was like max range. You don't spot dodge much? Any reason for that? Yeah, because Nair beat spot dodge. <laughs> and another down tilt beat spot dodge, too. There you go. A nice simple end to the tournament. I like that. I think that's one thing that needs to be said to like up and coming players. Like, especially people that are like, like they're considered like hype players. You don't have to end every set with a bang. I used to be like that and it cost me so many Smash 4 sets where I just wouldn't do bread and butter like coverage or anything like that or just any, anything simple because I would always be like, I have to end it with like a down air or like a cool jump read back air or a roll read. And it's like, no, you can just, you can just hit him. <laughs> That was like low key, like a, a hurdle I had to get over as a player. It, it, it's a really weird one because it's like, it's so simple to just don't be flashy when you don't need to, but you're talking to like a hot headed, like 18 year old up and comer kid who's just like, everyone's just like, he's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, I am cool. And I want to play into it. <laughs> Why are we even here if not spicy, spicy dare? That's true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have you guys here if it wasn't for my spicy down airs. <laughs>